Hey, morning everyone, lovely to see you again. Uh, last time I was speaking to you was before half term from our fantastic sports day event. Um, that leads me on to thinking about one of the three things I'm going to talk to you about today, which is opportunities, events and extracurricular things that students can get involved in. Mr. Saxena is going to talk to you about one of those opportunities. I'm also going to talk to you about the curriculum and the work that students will be doing this half term. Um, and finally, I'll be talking to you about what else you can do as a parent to support the young people at home. So if I kick off by saying about um, sports day and events, um, and then Mr. Saxena will talk to you about one particular club. So you can see we're filming here from um, a computer science lesson. It's a year 10 lesson. Um, and our computer science students do fantastically well um, as part of a really um, exciting and engaging curriculum opportunity that they have at Key Stage 4. Um, yeah, linked to that sports day we had before the half term, thank you to all parents that came along and supported that event at the end. You'll have seen how fantastically well the students behaved, how much they enjoyed the event, the opportunities that was created for them. Probably the most exciting event of the day was the teachers race. I think a lot of parents saw that. They the students got really enthusiastic by the teachers race. It was such a fabulous day. One of my most favourite days as principal of the school because everything ran like clockwork that day. Both the sports day um, that lots of you saw and that the students were fantastic in that day. Staff were fantastic, but equally year 10 students in the background here were having a drop down day to help them prepare for any coursework they've got to submit towards their exams and also towards the upcoming exams, which I'm going to speak to you about in a couple of moments. And equally, year 11 and 13 were in school that day doing exams. So all of those things culminated in a fantastic day for the school to finish what was a really exciting half term, a challenging half, half term at times, I said to you before. And that leads me on to what I want to talk to you about for this half term. We put in place lots of systems and routines in the school that as principal I, I decide upon to weigh up what I think, think feel is best for the whole community um, and often we need parental support with that. So that's things like a reminder about the mobile phone. Every young person has to have their mobile phone switched off and in their bag throughout the day and if it's not it will be confiscated from them and that already is having a massive impact around school. Just that lack of ability for a student just to quickly look at their phone when they get all that notifications has massively reduced the number of distractions in school and also reduced the opportunity for them to get engaged in some negative things associated with um, social media and things like that that can really impact on the school community as a whole. The other way you can support um, students at home, I'm going to talk to you about my second thing for this um, blog this week, is all to do with the curriculum and what the students are learning. If they're in Key Stage 3, you can look at the curriculum on the website. You can also engage with DPR to find out how the students have um, formed throughout this academic year. By now, their key objectives in all of their subjects, they should be at least developing it on those, but if not, consolidating and being secure in them. So please check, the aim is that every child is secure in all of their key objectives by the end of the year, and teachers are currently assessing those and working out what maybe young people in, in the year seven, eight and nine need to do between now and the end of the year to make sure they are secure. Equally, year 10 behind me are about to start some exams. Um, and during those exams, um, they will be, again, having an experience of the real GCSEs and also assessing what they've done this year. We want students to prepare really well for those exams, but if we don't want them to stress or worry too much, the whole point of them is to get that experience, to gain their confidence, and also work out maybe where some of the gaps in their knowledge are so they know what they need to focus on during next year in year 11. So please ensure that they do do their best in those exams by preparing re really well. The same applies to year 12. Year 12, we're in a similar position to year 10, but obviously with their A-levels and BTEC courses um, and level three courses. And again, they should be preparing and working hard every single evening towards ensuring they're prepared for those assessments. Obviously balancing that with the right rest and relaxation as well. I'm now gonna hand over to Mr. Saxena, who's hopefully gonna talk to you about a really exciting opportunity that he leads on in the school. Thank you. Um, yeah, so one opportunity we do have in terms of extracurriculars and clubs after school is our girls coding club um, for Key Stage 3, so that's year 7, 8 and 9. Um, we started this club as a way to get more young women into computer science. Um, I think one thing as a school, our expertise school does really well, is generally caring and thinking about equity. And in computer science we noticed that um, a lot of young women weren't picking computer science when they got to Key Stage 4 at year 10. Um, so it started off as a, just a way to, you know, understand that barrier and understand what was going on. Um, we have a group of about 16 girls who come now every other week uh, to engage in a bunch of coding activities and Photoshop activities and a lot of things that really um, excite them. Um, also through the extracurriculars, uh, I was sort of inspired by the English department and the humanities department who found really sort of inspiring trips. Um, so I've sort of been inspired to look for um, opportunities that way 
last year through this club, we were able to take the girls to Deloitte office in central London. And that was really eye-opening. They got to speak to um, women who are very sort of senior in cybersecurity and the government. And that was just in terms of insight, you know, way beyond what I can offer them. Um, and this year we, we had a really exciting trip to Downing Street and for the year sevens we were involved. Again, just very inspiring and an exciting opportunity. Um, so yeah, please do encourage uh, everyone to, you know, attend at least one extra code club. Um, Mr. Burton, the other computer science teacher, does run a boys computer science club as well. So something for everyone. Great. Thanks, Thank dude. you, sir. And that leads me to finish off uh, this week's blog with all of those exciting opportunities that we do create at Uxbridge High School. Like Sir says, we look for equity and we look for ways that we can find things that are really going to engage every single young person. Because like we always say, representation matters. And um, so look out for those opportunities for the young people. Um, there currently we have sevens and eights at the district athletics so those that did really well on sports day have been rewarded by being selected um, and we know that the shoots have looked fantastic this morning getting ready and i look forward to reporting back on some of their achievements um, next week equally on the theme of equity next week as well we'll be talking to you from the business department because we've done our new business mural and you'll see all that what i talk about that representation um, in that mural next week so more on that next week and also more about some of the events that are taking place this so our term is the last half term of this academic year, which means it's very, very busy and it's packed full of events. So I want to make sure all parents know where they can find all the information about all those events. So everyone's informed. And as always, we work in partnership for the success of these young people behind me. Have a fabulous weekend, everyone. See you same time, same place next week. Thank you.